Hi everyone, um, this is Leslie LaFleur from Under the Sea Fabrics. This is actually my second video today. Um, I just posted one about my fabric of the month for May. But, I wanted to talk about my Stitch Mania updates and I have a lot of stash that came just in the last couple days. Um, so I'll do that at the end in case nobody wants to watch that. Um, and I also, I'm super excited to say this, have a finish. Yay! So, uh, today, or last night, after having a discussion with my husband about all the stuff I wanted to do for Stitch Mania, so I wanted to do four projects and start one each week, and I told him about it, and he looked at me like, Leslie, you have too many whips. Don't start anything new until you finish something. So, since that was something he asked me to do, I said, sure, I can do that. And I took a day off from just about everything. I didn't answer my phone. I just watched TV and stitched all day. And it was wonderful. And I finished my Beneath the Sunlit Sky. All done. I love it. Um, I especially like that it has some specialty stitches in it. So you can see blanket stitch or the buttonhole stitch whichever you want to call it there's some eyelets up here all these little teeny tiny flowers right here or berries are all smearing out crosses and I even added a little mermaid because mermaids are kind of my trademark I guess my signature so this is stitched on buttercup opalescent Belfast from under the sea fabrics these are not the called for colors. The called for colors are kind of washed out and dull and I really prefer to stitch with bright happy colors so um, I changed them all. I have the list of color changes on my blog. I will, as soon as this video finishes uploading, I will, you know, reference that at the bottom so that you can click on it and find it if you wanted to use the same colors or something similar. Um, so, Stitch Mania, I, I wanted to start four things. I wanted to start Aphrodite Mermaid, I wanted to start Summer Snapperland from Bent Creek, I wanted to start Sea Hag from Plum Street Samplers, and my fourth one was Peony Pixie from Nor Corbett. And since I told the husband I would not start anything else until I finished something, and I finished something, I only got to start one thing. Honestly, if I took another day like I did yesterday to stitch, I could probably finish my Get Crackin'. It's got less than a page left, and... But... I wanted to start something else, and I wanted something bright and beaded and fun. So, I started Aphrodite Mermaid. Yeah, I thought I had the chart right here so I can show what she looks like. And I do. Okay, there it is. So this is what she looks like. As you can see, she will fit right in with all these ladies behind me on the wall. So I'm excited to do her. I love her hair. If you have ever seen Disney's Hercules, um, the animated, I think her hair looks just like Hades' hair. He's, the voice was done by James Woods. I love him. So, um, but I'm making some changes. Number one, as if she isn't bright enough, I am brightening all the blues to really, really rich, rich, rich royal blues and some teals. I am getting rid of those greens and adding some pinks. And I have not decided if I want to stitch her shell yet. So I started up at the top of her hair and I'm going to work my way down. And if I want to stitch the shell, then I figured I could decide about that later. That way if I decided I didn't want to, no big deal. If I get down to the bottom, I'm like, oh, I really like to do the shell. I can. So here is my start on her. Tell me her hair doesn't look like Marge Simpson right now. I, that's all I see when I see it, is Marge Simpson. Um, I'm doing her in some really dark, like you can see, some really 
bright blues so far. Um, the colors in her hair were actually a little washed out, so I added some brighter blues to that. Um, the colors in her tail are going to be black. This blue instead of the Krennic. And then these two blues. This is royal blue from Gloriana. And this one's jeweled turquoise from Gloriana. And the reason I am using so many Glorianas is because I got a huge order of Glorianas in. So I'm using a lot of Glorianas and a lot of um, um, silken colors. Now the color pinks that I'm planning to use are this very bright pink. SB123 from the Silk Lame Braid from Rainbow Gallery. This is a very, very pink silken color. It's called hum Hummingbirds and Hollycocks. I love that name. And then that's not the right one. Where's the right one? Oh no, I can't find it. And a color from um, silken colors called Razzleberry. Oh, there it is. It hung out in the bag when I wanted to show it off. So here it is. It's called Razzleberry. So I think all of these, and then there's a petite treasure braid. So I think all of these together look very cool. So I think they're going to be really fun to work with. Um, now, stash. Although I have some stuff that's, I'm going to show you that's not really stash related, it's just kind of silly. Uh, I love Harry Potter and I love Ursula, those are my two favorites. And next, next month, um, my family is going on a trip to Universal Studios and Disney World for taking our boys. My boys are 10 and 11, they're the perfect age for all that kind of stuff. And so I said I wanted some new shirts to wear to those. So it's the first one. It's a Butterbeer shirt. This is Butterbeer and Fire Whiskey at Hogsmeade. The three broomsticks. I have a feeling when my husband sees this one, he's going to want it. So I ordered it, you know, a little big for me, thinking that if he wanted it, he could have it. And then for my son, my oldest son, he was sorted into Ravenclaw on Pottermore. Got him a Ravenclaw shirt. So I think he's really going to like that. And then for myself, I can't wait to wear this shirt. It's Ursula Sparkling. It says, don't underestimate the importance of body language. And it's so shiny. Oh, can't wait to wear that. I love Ursula. In fact, I love Ursula so much that when my, um, one of my, I don't want to call her my friend, but because she, even though she kind of is, one of the vendors I love to use on Etsy, her name is Kim, and then her company is called Clay by Kim, her Etsy shop is, started doing sea monsters. They're little sea monster tins. Um, my friend Julie bought me my first one. It's... I don't know where it is, of course. I put it away last night, which means it's in my... This one came in the mail today, so it's... They're actually... The two are very similar. She calls these um, needle tins, so they come with a magnet inside to put your needles on. I actually don't use mine for needles most of the time. Um, although I might start doing that a little more now, but I, when I do a Mirabilia or a Chatelaine or any project that's beaded, I cover the bottom in removable, non removable double stick tape, and then I use it like a tacky bob, like anyone would use a tacky bob. Um, because I, the first couple of Mirabilias I did, I used a tacky bob and destroyed them. I don't know why a tacky bob will not last through one full project with me, but it would break apart, it would fall apart, it'd chip away, get covered in dog hair. So I love 
I started using like regular Altoids or Mint Tins, and then I started finding these, and I love these. But I like using the double stick tape because then when I finish a project, I can just peel it out and um, use fresh clean tape for the next project. It's awesome. Um, the next thing I got today, I say today came on Saturday. I was really excited about this. My um, Eric Shipley from the Ship's Manor. He designs cross stitch patterns, but he has recently started. Um, he's recently started dyeing cotton threads, and they're beautiful. But as y'all have probably been able to tell, I'm a little bit of a silk whore, so I have been pushing at him to start dyeing silks, and he has. And he is slowly adding his regular colors to his silk line, but this is my first order that I got. This color is called Caravassiri. I'm not sure if I said that right. His silk is almost exactly like Belsois, and I love Belsois, so it's a very high quality. You get five yards of 12 strand silk. I ordered two skeins of each color that he had already available. Um, so this one's Caravess Van Sere. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This one is called Irish Eyes. It's really pretty green. Oh, I love this one. It's called Black Raspberry. It's really pretty pink with some purple mixed in. And then this one is my favorite so far of the bunch. It's called Rolling Thunder, and it's a gorgeous purple and gray. Um, also, he has started to do a Silk of the Month Club, which I, as soon as he started it, I automatically signed up. So I will have colors to show you every month, and I'm really excited about this. Um, this is my first one for May that came like I said, I think it came Saturday. And I order, I paid for two skeins because I, I am of the opinion that you never really know whether or not you're going to want to use something for a big project. So an over dyed, if I want the same dye a lot and I want it to look the same, I go ahead and just order, you know, two skeins. So I paid for two skeins for the next year. This is really pretty. It's a very springy color. Looks like, I think it looks a lot like Easter grass. And his threads of the month come with a little charm that can be worked into your cross stitch. I get a little key this time. So I will add a link to his silk and thread of the month on the comments sections of this once it uploads. I am so excited that he is doing silk and I'm so excited that, I mean, and it's so reasonably priced, five, five-ish dollars a skein for something very, like, the equivalent of Belsois. Belsois is on the state dollars this game, so I'm very pleased with this. Put it over there. Get a drink. Well, today I'm drinking Telltale Tart from Boulevard. Boulevard's out of Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, we went there couple of weeks ago we went to the brewery itself and so this was one of the things that came home with us um when I was trying to buy pinks for my mermaid yesterday yesterday Saturday um I went to my cross stitch store it's called keepsakes in Cincinnati and bought every skein of pink that they had so I ended up using the two I showed you a little while ago, but these are the four, they're silken colors, um, Summer Blossoms, I love that, that's such a bright color, Regal Orchid, Orchid. Purple Preserves, it's a really nice wine tone, and Regular Orchid. So. I think I am set in pinks right now. I have every tone of pink, but I actually have a whole bunch more to show you because I bought some other colors this week too. So to start off, I have, this is another silken color, oh no, I gotta tie it back on. 
Isn't that pretty? It's called Midnight Cobalt. So it's got like a midnight gray and a really dark blue blended together. Um, that's a very Ravenclaw looking color scheme. So I will be, I'll have to do something for my husband with that. And then Blue Violet. I just really like this blue. I bought it because I wanted to see how it would compare to this is Gloriana's Velvet Night Sky. It is my favorite blue. And you can see it's just a smidge purpler. A little more purple, a little lighter. So I wanted to see what those look like next to each other. Now, I also got in an order of Gloriana's. Now, I put in a huge order of Gloriana's. Um, an online shop had them on sale for very cheap. So I figured I was going to go ahead and order the colors I wanted to see in person um, that I couldn't get at my local needlepoint store. She carries about 50 of them, but they've got almost 300 colors. So I ordered the ones I was curious about. This one is called Op Opulent Orange. It's very similar to this one. It's called Bright Orange. They are almost identical, even sitting right in front of me. Um antique dark gold I love this I I ordered them I ordered this color I had it in mind for something right now I don't remember what it is but I wanted that for something specific um, this one's iris it's a really pretty purple this one's called midnight I am actually using this on my um, I've got three skeins of it actually that I am using on my um, Bygone Stitches One Nation as the blue in my flag. And this purple night sky, I love this. It's the companion color to Velvet Night Sky and they're very close but this one's definitely a bit more purple. It's a very royal purple. Um, this one is Orchid told you I'm in a pink phase. I don't know why. Normally I would say I don't like pink, but this one's berry purple. Another pink. This one is bellflower. It's purplish blue. Purple blue color. And then this one's called rainforest. It's a variety of greens. I really like that. This one's called delphinium. It's another purple and blue. I'm not really impressed by this one. It's called Branch Coral. Um, I imagine I will find something to use it for, but I was hoping it would be like a really bright color and it wasn't. This one's called Jubilee. Uh, on my screen it looks very blue, but in person it is very purple. Um, very close to um, I think it's 333 in DMC, that real rich purple. This one is Fiesta. I love this. Look at all the look at all the colors, pinks and oranges and yellows and reds. Mm -hmm. This one is Royal Plum. I ordered two skeins of this because I saw it somewhere and they only had one and I just love the color thinking and I wanted two skeins of it because I want to do a monochromatic design with it and I, you never know if you're going to need one or two skeins for that so I ordered two so I'd have two from the same dye lot. This one's called Halloween Green. This one is called Rose Flame. I love this color. It is a very bright pink and orange. Very vivid. This is Deep Blue Sea. I use this in a lot of shadow lanes use this, but I use it for other stuff. I really like this color. This one is Burnt Orange. And this is my last one. It's called Pomegranate. I want to say there were a few others, but this was, you know, I think they were on sale for less than $5 a skein. So I went ahead and just ordered a bunch, thinking I would see the ones that I hadn't seen before. Um, my last thing to show you is a new stitch bag I got. It's very pretty. Little Mermaids. And it came with a snap color cover. 
Um, this is meant to hold 11 by 11 Q stamps, and it is made by a young lady named Hannah. Her company is called HCATS, and she is on Instagram. So I will post a link to her Instagram and her website on the bottom of this post. So thank you for watching. Uh, I don't see myself having another update for a while unless I actually finish Get Kraken. Fingers crossed, but I don't see that happening. So... Thanks for watching.